A central theme of the film is what my collaborators and I refer to as Caribbean environmentalities, an idea that speaks to the manner in which people, landscapes and stories are interlaced in environmental experience. We can speak in a broad sense about the environment as one's environing world or surrounding world, expressions I derive from phenomenology. The process of making the film was in some ways anticipatory, in others accidental. As we didn't have a distinct preconception as to what the film would be about, apart from an interest in lived experience and the narrativity of space and landscape, we had in a sense to discover the topic through the accidental quality of the footage. To paraphrase a wonderful description that my colleague Henriette Steiner used in speaking of my forthcoming book, we found threads that showed how the past gently touches the present and the future. Music plays a significant role in the film. We worked closely with the Trinidadian musician, Janine Ruiz, who composed an original score as a theme track with slight variations that spoke to each character's landscape. For example, certain African or South Asian Indian rhythms, the melody of the steel pan, and rhythms that speak to our long shared traditions with Venezuela. I don't believe it's our intention for the film to convey a particular message per se, and it's certainly not intended to be didactic. I hope the film opens epistemic space for the question of the significance of environmental experience and imaginaries, and the spatiality, historicity, and generativity of environmental experience. And by this I mean the ways in which one generation hands over its sense of the world to another in such a way that this inheritance is taken for granted and its nature as inheritance tends to be forgotten, as it constitutes the ground for what appears as new.